How's it hanging guys? Poopman here. So today I have something a little bit different. It's an MC Edit filter that I wrote. It's called Command Block Helper. You want to put it into your little filters folder inside your MC Edit thing. So, what you want to do is select Command Block, hit Filter. I already have that command being slash say hello. And if I don't want to change that, then what I want to do is put a space in the command thing. And then if I want to name it something, like let's say I want to include color or something like that, when you check this box, it includes that little swirly formatting thing. So, I'll just do slash A, Bob. There we go. Hit filter. Go back over, and if you hold down Alt, you can see what's in there. The command name is now Bob. And at the end, it automatically puts in a little reset thing so it doesn't affect your command afterward. And also, you can see up there, the command still says say hello. So, in case you don't have a command block or you don't have any blocks to replace it with, if you select a one by one by one area, hit filter. You don't even need to check this box. No. And I'll just delete the name right there, put a space if I don't want it to be changed. Uncheck that, and I'll just even do say. Oh, whoops, spelt that wrong. So, oh, space. Say slash four. Hello. And see how I didn't check that? Watch if I hit filter and hold down alt. It's. It says say slash four hello, so it didn't change the name at all, and the name is still the at a symbol. So that's good. And I'll just deselect that. And over here, oh, oh whatever, okay, selected it. And let's say I just want to replace in the region the black wool. I'll hit filter, and I'll go back around. I'll, I'll just keep doing the slash say commands. I'll make it say hello, and I'll just slash a bleh. There we go. And I won't check the uh, this thing right here, the format symbol. And I want to check replace block with command block. So I want to replace the 35, 15, that's the ID and data for black wool. And if I were to hit filter, it has replaced them. Now let's say I just want to change the name as what I did in like the first example. I'll just do a space there. I can actually do up to seven spaces. And let's do the name slash oh whoops max space again to check the format symbol and I'll actually change it to T so if I were to do T three blah and let's say I didn't know what a format thing was maybe I want it to be bold I can do my little wiki thing right here cuz that's whole filter I'm trying to help people with it it shows you the player selectors the arguments the format codes colors and enhancements game rules and disabled or unavailable commands within command blocks. Also underneath tips, as a few tips with command blocks, I'll probably add more in the future in like little updates that I won't do videos on. And same with help, it tells you how to use the filter and also just in case an error pops up, what, what's that from and stuff like that and tells you how to fix it. So I replaced that, now let me just do the name and I'll do spaces, T, six, bleh, there we go again, I'll hit filter chunk block. Oh yeah, see this is the error that I was talking about. There is no longer any um, black wool in there, so I'll just uncheck that. And so now if I hit filter with it, it'll just change the command blocks in here. If I deselect and I hold down alt, there we go, change the name. <clears throat> and so now let's say you already have um, a line or something that you want. Here's like a button, here's your line, and you want to do all your command blocks and MC edit. Just select what blocks you want it to be replaced with it. Hit the whatever with it. I'll just not change the name. I'll just spaces in there, not select that. I'll click replace block with command block. 19 is the ID for sponge and it has no data value. So, and I'll just, I'll keep doing the say command. It also works with other ones, so I'll probably do TP at P. Oops. Zero, zero, zero. Just keep things simple. And I'll filter. So it has filtered now. And if I fly up, you can see the command blocks have been replaced. So that's pretty much all you need to know for this. So I'll go back into uh, game and show you what it looks like. So now that we're back in game, I can show you what the thing actually did. So. Over here, remember with my first example, I only changed the name of it, the command is still say hello, and Bob says hello, well, thank you very kind of you, Bob. And if this one, remember I didn't change the color at all, I didn't include that thing, 
So, if I were to bah, push the button again, it just says slash four hello. That's a bit odd, only robots say that kind of stuff. Uh, then this one, freshmana, freshmana, hello, slash a freshmana, there we go. And this one says the exact same thing. There we go. And this one over here just teleports me relative absolutely nowhere to my location, and actually what that does is completely stops our movement. So if I were to move along and do that, I completely stop. Yeah. So that's good. That's maybe you could you guys could use that for maps maybe if you want people to stop moving or something. So, that's all I have to show you for this filter. Hopefully you guys find it useful and th the key thing about this filter is that I didn't just want it to make it be, you know, write in command blocks or change names or stuff like that. I want it to be a command block helper. That's why I include the wiki and tips with it. And again, there will probably updates randomly that I won't do videos on with more tips and stuff like that they will come into the filter. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I'm Poopman. Subscribe for some weekly videos if you haven't. And have a nice rest of your day.